Brian, uh, nil nil with Mexico, our third draw of the competition, and it's a case of now just sitting and waiting to see how the other results go. Yeah, I sincerely hope the players get through now. I mean, they've put a tremendous amount of work in those three games. Um, to come here and play in that sort of humidity, the players found it very, very difficult in the first 45 minutes to come to terms with that humidity. But I thought second half we did better. And if you look at the three games, I mean, I know we haven't scored a goal, but uh, I think for their efforts and their determination and their character, they showed a tremendous amount of character today. I think they deserve to go through. So for the players' sake, I hope they get through to the last 16. But we'll have to wait and see over the next 48 hours. I mean, people will look at the, the score lines, but in each game we have had chances to score, and on another day we, we could well have scored tonight or, or in the previous two games as well. I think when you're playing against that quality of opposition, you know, and uh, Korea wasn't an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. You know, Argentina and Mexico. That, I mean, Argentina and Mexico are excellent technically. Uh, for sure, we created a few chances in the first 45 against Korea. We had a couple of good chances against uh, Argentina. And we had probably created two good chances again today. The reality is when you're playing in this humidity, this heat, at this altitude, against that quality opposition, there's not going to be that many chances in the game. Um, I mean, obviously Jack Butler made a great save from the penalty, made another terrific save. Having said that, their goalkeeper made a great save from Callum McManaman and volleys on the back post. So the game was much closer. I thought they were marginally the better team in the first half while we were coming to terms with the humidity. I thought we improved in the second half and it was much more even, Stephen, in the second half. And obviously now we're just waiting for the, the results to roll in. It's a mm. chance to, to get some probably much needed rest and recovery for, for the players after what's been a busy, busy week. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I'm still conscious of the fact the players are in pre-season, but the boys that have played the large majority of that football of those three games need a couple of days to, uh, to chill out. So what we'll do tomorrow, we'll do the pool recovery. I shall let them chill out around by the pool for a couple of hours and then we'll get them out for a meal tomorrow night. There'll be some light training the day after, and again we'll give them some time to relax and uh, you know take the reins off them a little bit if you like. I think psychologically and mentally they need that for a couple of days, and then we'll be focusing back in, hopefully, um, to go into the last 16 on uh, on on Sunday.